Okay, here's the new project. Um, I've already actually made a servo motor turbine and uh, it works very, very well. I'll have to get it outdoors for a test on that. But um, what I do have is the new motor, which, uh, which I've actually had for a while. This is a Henrob, uh, I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly. There's uh, all the info about it. Um, <clears throat> and I started this project a while ago, actually. There you see it with a uh, 12 position hub that I've already made. And, uh, and then I've defeated the original connections and pulled the encoder out. And uh, that way, I can go ahead and put it into the, uh, the jet uh, mill drill here and get an RPM test. So that's what you're going to watch right here. First, uh, I start out at 150 RPM. Note that um, a few things. One, this is, uh, uh, I've got it locked in a vise there, which is mounted, hard mounted to the, the table. And uh, what I'm showing you there is a little bit of wobble in it. I got this thing on eBay, probably about 30 bucks. And uh, the it had a bad encoder, but I think the shaft is also a little bit tweaked at the end there. So you see the little bit of wobble there. That concerns me. Um, but there it is at 150 RPM. Uh, well, it was a second ago, and it was about 4 volts. Now at 500 RPM, it's at about 17 volts. And uh, then just for fun, I go ahead and uh, change the belts up to 1600 RPM. And uh, <clears throat> we've get, we're getting 55 volts out of that thing. So... Um, not sure I'm going to make a turbine out of this. I've already got one. What I am thinking is uh, using this donor motor here. And uh, and it has a 7 8 shaft like they all do. And that might be a whole lot less effort, especially since I already have a, uh, a, a turbine um, from a servo motor, which again I'll get tests for. Um, this would just be a new project. And these things, these motors are everywhere. Seems like uh, it could be fun to make either a trickle charger or three-phase uh, generator or something like that. So, your thoughts and uh, comments, as always. Thanks again, and until uh, next time.